Much of North America's drinking water infrastructure is nearing the end of its useful life and approaching the age at which it needs to be replaced. The signs of distress surface daily as water mains break, creating floods and service disruptions. To make the most of available funds, water and wastewater managers would be wise to consider using trenchless technologies rather than traditional open-cut excavation. Pipe bursting is recognized as the only method of trenchless rehabilitation that can replace an existing line with a new pipe, providing total pipe replacement. Water main replacement is frequently used when a pipe doesn't have enough structural strength, making it prone to failure or when a utility needs to increase a line's flow capabilities. The pipe bursting process replaces a host pipe by fragmenting the conduit and installing the product pipe in its place. As shown in this project in Lloyd Minster, a city in Alberta, Canada, static pipe bursting was used to replace 453 feet of 8-inch vitrified clay sanitary sewer, shown in red, and 272 feet of asbestos cement water main, shown in blue, beneath a busy intersection. After careful study, the city replaced the existing pipe for both projects with polyvinyl chloride PVC pipe. Specifically, for both the sanitary sewer and water main replacements, the project's design engineer specified Spline Lock DR18 Serta Lock Restrain Joint Integral Bell Pipe from Houston based Westlake Pipe and Fittings, corrosion and chemical resistant inside and out. The pipe's segmented nature and cartridge style loading allows for ease of installation and a minimal assembly area. Everyone wants to have services, but no one wants to live in a construction zone while they are replaced. With trenchless technology and Sertalock, we can provide minimal excavations with 10 and 20 foot lengths of pipe in stock that can be assembled in the trench cartridge style, keeping access open for residents and businesses. For static pipe bursting, an insertion pit and a machine pit must be dug prior to the new pipe installation. For this project, the pits were dug the day before the pipe installation. The machine pit was approximately 15 feet long, and the static pipe bursting machine was placed in the pit using an excavator. The machine's hydraulic power pack was placed above the pit. The insertion pit was approximately 30 feet long, just long enough to allow the placement and attachment of one length of pipe to the previous installed segment of pipe. The first step was to feed three foot bursting rods through the existing pipe from the machine pit toward the insertion pit. After the expander head was attached to the new pipe, the pipe and expander were lowered into the insertion pit. The expander was then attached to the bursting rods, which had already been fed through the existing pipe, and pulled back toward the machine pit with the new pipe following behind. As the first 20-foot length of pipe was being pulled back, the contractor in the pit prepared the next segment of pipe. Segmented spline lock pipe doesn't need to be pre-assembled. It can be assembled as the pipe is being pulled into place. This allows for a smaller staging area, as the pipe doesn't need to be strung out prior to assembly. To prepare the spline lock joint for assembly, the contractor lubed the gasket inside the bell and the spigot end. The contractor then inserted the spigot end into the bell end, lining up the two spline grooves. Finally, the nylon spline was inserted into the spline insertion hole to complete the spline lock and fully restrain the joint. As shown in this figure, the nylon spline is inserted into the spline insertion hole, which is oriented near the top of the pipe, and then runs around the circumference of the pipe through the matching spline grooves. The expander head has an outside diameter several inches larger than the outside diameter of the existing and new pipes. This allows the hole to be expanded, pushing the soil to the side to create room for the new pipe. Once the expander entered the machine pit, the full 318-foot pipe string was pulled into place. The assembly of this section of Sertalock PVC pipe took approximately one hour. Two additional lengths of 272 feet and 133 feet also took an hour or less to install once the setup was complete. The Lloyd Minster project went very well. Sertalock was new to the contractor, the engineer, and the city. 
We installed three runs over three days, each taking less than an hour while dealing with enough rain that would have shut down the project if it had been open trench. Such efficient, cost-effective construction methods can help utilities maximize capital improvement budgets and address drinking water infrastructure needs in a minimally disruptive and environmentally friendly manner. Trenchless technologies like Certilock from Westlake Pipe and Fittings ensure such projects can be completed quickly with minimal interruptions to the public. If you are considering Certilock, keep us in the loop. We have a local team of engineers that can assist with your design and a team of local sales reps that can help you with your supply chain and project planning. We can be an extension of your team to make your project a success. For more information on Westlake Pipe and Fittings Municipal PVC Pipe, visit www.westlakepipe.com.